Hello and welcome to another Watcher of Realms video and in this video I am going to be doing stage 12 of the faction trial for the Infernal Faction. I have managed to complete every other stage I believe. Yeah, sometimes you just miss one at the top but we have completed everything else. I did just do stage 11 and it was pretty straightforward and that's because I did get a brand new character recently in the the summons, I did get A1 Zilla 2 from the, the 15 times 2 times that she was on. Hex was also on that banner, so I think a lot of people might get progress in this. I don't think Hex is going to help as much as, as Zilla 2 is, but um, I guess he could probably do the same sort of job, actually. Um, I'm going to just show you one thing before we actually click the runoff. It's based on the placement of um, Twin Fiend and also the placement of um, Setrum and like, why they're placed in the way I'm going to place them. So first off, we're going to place... Um, Twin Fiend, well actually uh, the first character I will place is going to be Setrum and he's going to be placed here. Now the reason I place him here is because he can't hit the boss. Well, uh, as strange as that sounds, he can't hit the boss but he can hit these two s squares up here so he'll help with the, the characters or enemies coming down and he'll be able to clear the ones coming down on the bottom by himself. However, when he does his ultimate, he will be able to hit the boss. This is the important part. He's the one who's doing the damage against the boss and that's pre pretty much how it's going to work. I'll just hit the restart and I'll just show you how I'm going to place um, Twin Fiend and why. Twin Fiend's going to be placed here. Looking up, he's going to help on the right side. Just with basic attacks, you know, sort of, sort of thing. But when he does his ultimate, his ultimate again can hit the boss. And this is pretty much how we're going to do it. If we have characters that can hit the boss and hit other enemies, they will always prioritize the boss over the other enemies. So you have to take out the boss first. Whereas the way we set it up, if we don't, if you don't actually take down the boss with your run, you, like at the beginning, you can at least do damage to other characters in the meantime. Because you have to burst the boss really heavily. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it the first time. I did it on stage 11, which I wasn't able to do before, but it's only because I got Zilla 2 and the damage is massively increased. So we have got Setra in place first. Then we're going to place um, Dolores, who is going to invigorate Setra, so he gets the extra attack, as you can see. And then next up, we're going to place Zilla 2. And we're going to invigorate her with um, with Autumn. As you can see, Setrum's doing his job. And we'll place Zilla 2 here. And she's going to clear these two squares that you can see that she's lined up with. And then we'll place um, Autumn here. And now everybody here, these are the main damage dealers. They have got invigoration. Just to do a little bit extra damage, as you can see. It's not too bad. They should be able to clear these, no problem. The next character we put down is going to be uh, Twin Fiend. And we're going to try and burst very early on. And with just these characters. You, it will be quite gear reliant. Whether you can do this or not. Um, you have to basically make sure everyone's doing their ult before Twin Fiend locks them in. So we'll just start everybody's ult. Like this. And then we'll lock them in. He'll do a little bit of damage to the shields. And we should do massive damage here. Mainly because of of her. We'll be able to get him out. I'm not sure. It's going to be close. And that's that's basically Setrum and, and the, the kind of combo. And pretty much from here it's, it's sort of done. And um, we do have to make sure we place the tank next. Just because Setrum will deal with this character. But if we don't have the tank we won't slow them down. And from here, it's, it's generally going to be pretty easy. As long as you've got these three characters. It is Twin Fiend, Setrum, and, um, and uh, Zilla 2. Now, if you didn't have Zilla 2, you could potentially put Hex here, looking left. Doing the same job that Zilla 2 is doing. And he'll, he'll take out these two squares here. While Setrum will help with these two squares. And so will um, Twin Fiend. I guess you could actually sell Twin Fiend at this point. I'm going to put her down here. So I could sell Twin Fiend. And place him down the bottom looking up. Which will help on the last wave that comes through. I'm going to try not pop the... Uh, maybe we could place him... Where do we want to place him? I think we'll place him up top looking left. I think we need to pop him just to make sure he heals. That's good. Oh, he actually, we actually lost that. So we might have to start again. We'll see. We'll see. Zilla 2 should be able to do this by herself. But we have got the ult of uh, Setrum coming up. This is the only group of four that actually come from the top. So we don't have to worry too much about anything else. It's these last three that can be a little bit of a problem overpowering 
this guy down the bottom. And then what we'll do is we will pop the alt here. And we should be okay. As long as we deal with these characters at the top, we should be absolutely fine. And come on, Zilla 2. Come on, Zilla 2. No? No, Zilla 2? No? And we're going to do a little bit of damage from the back here. Oh, we just did it. We just did it. A little bit, little bit shaky. A little bit shaky. And then oh, we can sell, we can sell Pyros now. And we can put him down that here. And we'll pop his ult for the AOE that he brings to the table. And then even someone up the top, like Zilla 2, will be able to help with the damage down here, even though she's not in range. That's pretty much how it's going to work. So we will pop who we can pop. We'll wait for the damage buff from Dolores. And then we'll, we'll pop him. There we go. This should be a nice AoE. We'll actually pop his heal early. If we can. Can we pop his heal? Can we pop his heal? Yeah, there we go. We should be alright. We should be alright. Just one enemy left. All times two. Auto ult. And that's that's it. That is literally the thing that was staying, standing in my way. Was just the damage output that I was missing from Zilla 2 to add to Twin Fiend's ult. Before, I had Scorch in that position. Not as great. Not as great. And I wasn't even using, like, someone else who I could have used um, as a healer. I uh, will show you the gear I had on these characters. Let me just quickly back out. But I'll show you the gear. And I wasn't using... Is it Fursy? I did, I did pull Fursy, but I haven't teared them up yet. So we'll go to Infernal. As you can see, Fursy is not teared up. The main three characters are the ones at the top. My gear's okay on them. It's not it's not the top tier gear on Setrum. He has got a crit ring, for instance, but he's just got decent crit rate, 100% crit chance, decent attack. This is my best gear on my account. This is goes from my on my camera as well. Um, it isn't great unless it's bugged, which it is currently, with the right side obviously accumulating um procs on the actual set so getting extra attack because of other people doing the ult i think she only ults twice so she'd only get an extra 20 percent boost i'm not sure what else she could potentially use probably the same set as um Cetrum. infernal raw instead would probably be better um if you weren't getting the, the bugged rolls uh, i went with the new set it isn't the best like actual pieces but it's got the the bonus down the bottom just giving an extra 4% attack, which is nice. And then with the other characters, I just went with, I think, my Olag gear or something here. Uh, Dolores, kind of standard attack, you know, a bit of rage regen, that sort of thing. Um, I threw anything on him. I guess he did have invigoration. I don't think I planned to invigorate anybody. It just happened as it happened. And then I put my Silas gear on her, but she, I don't think she did crazy amounts of damage. It was, it was definitely these three. It was definitely these three up the top. And I think that's it. I think, again, down the bottom, another invigoration just to invigorate um, Zilla 2 at the start. So I think, like, if you got lucky and you managed to pick up Zilla 2 and um, Hex on the last banner, I think Hex can probably just target the boss and just continuously attack the boss and maybe be okay. But I'm not sure. He keeps on shielding, and then if he don't break the shield, he heals. And that's the problem. That's why you need Twin Fiend or Pyros to, like, blow that the boss up and you saw how it worked and that was mainly because of zilla 2 doing her ult getting the massive bonus um h like hp damage i, I took off like half his health with uh, the ult from twin fiend but that's it pretty much i'm happy to get through it finally this one's been a bit of a, a lock the next one for me is nightmare which is a, a problem it might have to wait until i get arrogance because i think once i do it's going to be very very straightforward but i have been close so we might be lucky the next time it comes around hopefully this has been helpful for you thank you very much for tuning into my video Take care and I will see you in the next video.